and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we are going to be doing some WRC generations. We're going to do some a rally here in Corsica. Uh, we are using the uh, the WRC cars, which are kind of notoriously broken in this game with throttle control and stuff. So, all right, let's do it. <clears throat> The throttle control is so broken on these cars. <laughs> it's either all or nothing. I do have it on the... On like the third map. Like I hate that. I hate how much time I lose on a turn like that. These technical stages like this are a pain in the butt in these cars. Oh, I have it on map one, the power map one, the one that gives you the most boost. Because you kind of need that after all these little turns. I think this is the biggest reason I haven't covered this game that much, is because of all this nonsense with these cars. And I don't think... I really don't think they're going to do anything to fix it. They don't. They probably just don't care. This is the last game they made, so we're stuck with the flaws on this one. Which really sucks. I've been playing WRC 10 a lot more because of this. Especially now on this direct drive wheel, WRC freaking 10 is, is, is amazing now. Literally freaking amazing. This game's still good with all the with all the other cars, you know, like the Legends and stuff, but the, you buy these games to drive the, the WRC cars. Tell you what, man, this direct drive wheel makes this literally incredible. Gosh, I'm almost to the point where I'm just going to buy WRC 9 and just play all the tracks I want to play on those older games. Because this is annoying with these cars, man. So annoying. the thing with these WRC Generations games. Every complaint we had from the last games, they never solved any of those. They would always just bake them into the new game. So nothing's going to get fixed on this one, and that's going to suck, man, because this game here has infinite potential to, to keep selling for a long time because they brought all the tracks to it. They could have kept making money on this one for a long time, but unless they're going to fix some of this stuff, it's going to be, it's going to suck when people buy this game and then they don't play it that often. Okay. 
I haven't been here for a little while. So I'm basically having to listen to my co-driver. Ugh. Need a little bit of throttle control, man. That's all we need. That wasn't too bad. My car's still in one piece. Not a lot of problems with it. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, move on to another. Move on to another race. Let's let's get another one. Let's get another one in this recording, man. Let's see where do we want to go though. Um, where do I want to go? Let's do one of my favorite courses. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's do this one. This one here is kind of a short one as well. We'll just do it clear, just so, the, just so the recording comes out. We'll do the same car. All right, let's get in here and do this. Couple of, couple of tarmac. Then maybe we'll do a... We'll just do these two tarmac stages. I really like these ones. Whoa, shoot. I don't know why I was looking off the other way. Come on. Yeah. <clears throat> of course there's injuries. Well, that'll wreck in these games, man. And it kind of just throws you completely off. Amazing how much faster this car is over that Subi, though. Didn't even expect that. This is a beautiful stage. Tarmac has always felt good on this one. Though. Need your throttle control, man. Everything just starts coming at you so fast.
Come on, throw control, please. if this is exactly what it feels like in these cars in real life honestly man if these drivers have got to deal with this all or nothing This wheel feels so freaking smooth. So nice. All right, man. If you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. <clears throat> I'll see you guys in the next one.